the scene. It was Princess Margaret's first public appearance since issuing her personal message. Nantwich Station. The Queen and the Duke are received by Colonel Edgerton Warburton. At the Market Square, in crew, the Mayor, Councillor Talbot, welcomed them, and Her Majesty inspected a guard of honour mounted by the Cheshire Yeomanry. At Crew Hall, Lord Woolton, as Chancellor of the Duchy of Lancaster, presented some 400 tenants of the Duchy estates surrounding this great house. Newcastle under Lyme where the Queen inspected a Royal Air Force Guard of Honour before leaving for the Wedgwood factory at Barliston. Here, in the heart of the potteries, the Queen and her husband met the craftsman whose handiwork is renowned the world over. Her Majesty had a go at it herself. At Hanley, the firm of Johnson Brothers had laid on a fine show. The Queen was obviously enthralled, but while inspecting a teacup, a photographer's flash bulb surprised her. Jolly near dropped it, said the Queen. Stoke City football ground, but the weather didn't prevent Her Majesty and the Duke from driving round between ranks of cheering children, who had waited in the pouring rain to put on a show for them. The youngsters were determined to play their part whatever the weather. Birmingham and a bouquet from Margaret Betty. The Lord Mayor, Alderman Lummis Gibson, received the royal visitors. And at King Edward's school, which is celebrating its 400th anniversary, the Queen and the Duke saw a display of mathematical instruments. pen for doing your lines? Well, not a bad idea. The last engagement was a tour of the Joseph Lucas factory. Her Majesty and the Duke walked for over a mile through the buildings. So the royal tour drew to a close. The streets echoing to rousing farewell cheers as Birmingham and the Midlands said bon voyage. <laughs>